Hi, this is Carol and welcome to my studio. I named this painting, Do You Like Picasso? It's a free form acrylic painting with the drawing and it's 30 by 30. This is a picture of it in broad daylight. I begin the painting using a black marker and I'm drawing out what I consider to be a pretty abstract drawing. And my first layer of paint that I'm applying is going to be the base, which is the grays and the blues. I'm starting out with, it's a pretty much of a, a medium gray. I mix that with black and my titanium white. I'm going to be starting to add in some of the colors I'm going with. And there I've got okra yellow. And I'll, I'll be adding cadmium yellow light to that also. Okay, as I move along in the painting, I'm making sure that my background is on the light side. I don't want to get that too dark because the figure that I'm going to be placing in the center, that's my focal point of the painting. You know, if you've been watching some of my other videos, by now you you know my technique style. I like to put on a lot of layers. I'll put a a real pure rich color on and then if I want to subdue it down I'll bring it down with uh, either a pastel gray or a thin layer with glaze of the titanium white mix to bring down that particular color. And I'm laying in right now some of the forms with my Prussian blue and that's the uh, deep magenta I've got going in. This is where I'm starting to form a Picasso look. Uh, he uses a lot of these colors in his paintings. In fact, I might try to do a series of Picasso. There have been some of my followers that have called me Picasso's granddaughter. Um, that kind of blew me away one time. I'm glad they called me his granddaughter, not his wife. And there I've got more of my form shaping. It almost looks like a tree, a tree trunk, or it could be even a bird forming. I don't know, I'm just going with it. And that's what you've got to do with the abstracts. You have to just go with the flow and stand back, look at it, see what you want to add, place your colors the right way. Use your color harmony balance and you can't go wrong. Here I'm putting in some of the dark brown right now. Raw umber going in. And then I've got okra, some more okra going in, in the middle of the magenta, the dark magenta. Okay, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I'll let you enjoy watching me paint, and I'll sit back and watch also.
I want to break in right here to explain that right now I'm using my color harmony technique, which I consider to be balancing out the colors. You know, I'm concentrating my reds on the lower part of the canvas, but then I do want to bring a little bit of the red up towards the middle. I am going to keep the red out of the top. There won't be any red up there at all. Okay, believe it or not, right here I'm adding in some Viridian Green. When that dried, it did dry very, very dark. But you can't see in the, in the original, you can notice the green. And of course, that's a complementary green and red, or complementary colors. So that's definitely going to go together. But I just wanted to add a little bit of it, not a lot. Here I'm making my red, which now is the cadmium red medium, a little bit more brilliant. And then the original, that will stand out. Your eye will definitely go right towards that. And then to the right of it, you'll notice when I put some more of the red in, I will top that with a bright orange, but just a little bit. So keep watching for that coming up. That's the green going in. We got the okra. And now, of course, I'm back with my titanium white. And this part here has been a fun part for me. I'm adding in my yellow, but then I want to tone that down. I just want a little bit of that showing up in the painting. And so I will be putting on more of the gray on the top part of the canvas. And that's a medium to a medium light gray that I mixed up again with the black and the titanium white. There I'm topping that upper part of the canvas off with my palette knife and titanium white paint. Just scraping that on that rough canvas that I put on before the painting. Here I just blocked in my cadmium medium orange paint on top of that red. Now of course Picasso is known to put in a lot of black lines and uh, I like that too. I think it's sharp. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting in some black lines that I call little sketches. Now I'll go over it a couple times until I get it right. Didn't like that, I took that one out. But that's okay to do that. That's what painting's all about. Have you noticed right now that I'm using a black marker to finish this off with the lines? You just have to make sure that your acrylic paint on the canvas is very dry in order to use the marker. Otherwise, just use your black paint. 
This is the painting, Do You Like Picasso? Hanging on a wall under a spotlight. Following our close-ups of the painting, and I wanted to give you many pictures so you could see the different layers of paint that I have along with the black drawing lines. Again, thank you so much for being here and please push that button at the end of this video so you can subscribe.